All right, the moment you've been waiting for. Here we go. A collection of county, local, California, and federal officials helped kick off the start of a historic groundbreaking. A high-speed train that will move passengers 218 miles from Las Vegas to Southern California. This ceremony marked Brightline West's construction commencement of the future home of the Las Vegas Terminal, located on South Las Vegas Boulevard near Blue Diamond Road. This is such an exciting project for, for Southern Nevada, not only for tourists, but also for, for locals. This is going to bring tens of thousands of good paying construction jobs and then thousands of jobs after that. Uh, they'll continue to work on the maintenance and the operations of, of this uh, train, high speed train. It's just an exciting project for, for all of us, both in Nevada and in California. Brightline West will benefit tourism, ease traffic congestion on the usually jammed Interstate 15 while eliminating tons of auto-producing carbon pollution. This project is expected to be a $10 billion economic boom to California and Nevada, creating 35,000 construction jobs and more than 1,000 permanent positions when completed in about four years. Two terminals are planned in California, in the Victorville area, and then Rancho Cucamonga. On behalf of the Biden administration, it is my great honor to help break ground on what will be the first high-speed rail in American history. Brightline West will cost about $12 billion, with $3 billion coming from Washington, D.C., in the form of grant funding from the bipartisan infrastructure law. When this line opens and Brightline West is working aggressively to meet their ambitious 2028 target, there will be a million fewer cars stuck in traffic. The company owns and operates a similar successful mass transit train in Florida, Brightline riders travel from Orlando to Miami aboard comfortable cars on elevated track. Brightline founder Wes Edens thinks this project will become one of our country's historic infrastructure innovations. What I believe will be the legacy of today is this is really to mark the beginning of the high-speed rail industry in the country. And, that, and what I mean by that is we have an automobile industry, we have an air, airplane industry, uh, there's no reason the United States of America should not be the leader in the world for a high-speed rail industry. For general information, construction progress, and much more, visit BrightlineWest.com.